Now this is a, an old chassis out of a Philips radio. This is a model 577A um, chassis. Unfortunately it had I got it with the case away way back. Um, didn't really want the case, wanted the innards so the case got chucked and I've still got the uh, inside. So it's kicked around rather a long time. Last time I tried this, this was working. It'd be interesting to see. Everybody goes on about, oh, capacitors will need reforming, etc. Or in fact, you probably have to replace them. I think the last time I tried it, I think there was a bit of hum coming through. So capacitors were starting to maybe go. Um, we'll try it out, out of interest. Bring it up in a variac and see if we can get some life out of it. I suppose without further ado, let's see if we can switch it on, if I can remember which switch is switching on. That's, is that the on switch? No. Right. Well, I've turned it up to about 100 volts and I can certainly see the filaments on these two lamps for the display coming up. Yeah, it's got a bit of heating and I can hear some hum. And we have... It's pretty impressive. This is still running on its original capacitors. There's a little bit of mains buzz coming through, but it's pretty impressive. It's, it can still. And we've got a really lousy reception area here. But it's pretty good. So this is from 1935. This chassis was made. You say no repairs done at all. tends to pick up all the noise from the computers and things in here. It's certainly pretty impressive. Say no changes, no resistors change, no capacitors, there's been no modifications to this. Yeah, even the wiring's perished here. That's the old uh, rubber coated cables. So Using a signal generator here as a carrier, I'm just modulating it with uh, a signal to try and make my own channel here. Okay, I'll just have a quick walk around these. This is the output, this is the driver valve for the uh, speakers. You notice the uh, pin base is quite an early early type. Um, this one is a rectifier, it's a double diode. So it's a double diode uh, from the main part rectifier. There is another rectifier in here, a smaller one as well. This is just a, a single diode in here. And, uh, Intermediate ones have got caps on the or anode caps. This is the uh, variable capacitors in here. The old ones, these had uh, screens on them, and later intended not to be screened like this. So, just to keep the dust out, the uh, variable plates uh, tended to make a lot of crackling if they get too dusty. And these are inductors. The front. So I've got the uh, tuner at the front, so the displays at the front. Mains transformer here. These two are smoothing capacitors. Uh, there's a choke in between the two. Now these capacitors may need replacing. They were a bit buzzy, but it still is amazing. It still works. So from underneath, got all these old old components, all original. 
see quite old capacitors, old paper capacitors here, but they're all holding out a bit anyway. Uh, even the screening on this cable looks very, very kind of primitive windings for the uh, coatings for the, uh, the screening. It's just like coiled wire on the outside. Not a piece of plastic in sight, or the supply wire I've got there. Resistors, they just actually have the, num the values stamped on them, or printed on them. Uh, this is the mains choke here. Some mica capacitors, just all these loose wires, no insulation. This kind of sticky insulation that's stuck to things. Uh, wafer switches for selecting wave bands. But yeah, very old, old, old stuff. Quite amazing. Amazing, it still, still just functions. Interesting feature here, this is the aerial, external aerial plug. I take it out. Now there's a little switch in here. External area plug goes in and switches out a switch in here. The switch is connected to this capacitor, small capacitor here, which goes on to one side of the mains. So it uses the mains as an aerial if the aerial plug isn't in place. So there you go. Label on it. Phillips chassis 55, 577A model. And you can still download the actual service manual for this and all the component values condensers <laughs> you find that interesting thanks for watching